My name is Dr. Pallavi Patel. I'm a nuclear medicine specialist. I welcome you all on behalf of Team EduSearch to today's session where I will be talking about PET CT scans, which are a type of nuclear scan used commonly in cancer imaging. The most commonly asked questions are what is a PET scan? And what is nuclear medicine? Why do I need a PET scan? How should I prepare for a PET CT scan? And how is the test performed? Lastly, is it safe? What are the safety aspects from radiation point of view? What is a PET scan? PET stands for Positron Emission Tomography. It is a type of nuclear scan involving radioactive elements, specifically the positron emitters tagged with certain specific compounds. They are injected intravenously and they localize to disease sites. Special types of scanner called as PET scanners are then used to image these radioactive emissions. Conventional imaging techniques like X-ray, CT scan and MRI image the organ structure that is the anatomy of the body whereas nuclear scans like PET CT image the physiology and metabolism of the organs. Why do I need a PET CT scan? Like I said before it is a commonly performed scan in cancer setting. It is useful in the initial staging of the cancer to detect where all the cancer has spread in the body. It is also utilized in seeing treatment response to chemotherapy and radiation therapy. In the follow-up setting, when the treatment is complete, but the doctor suspects that there could be a recurrence of the disease, a PET scan is done to confirm recurrence and restage the disease. There are newer types of PET CT scans like gallium dotanoc and gallium PSMA PET CT performed in neuroendocrine tumors and prostate cancers. These scans are particularly done prior to radionuclide therapy in cases who are refractory to conventional chemotherapy. Is PET scan only useful in cancer setting? The answer is no. It is also performed in many non-oncological scenarios. For example, to assess the viability of the heart prior to performing a major coronary artery bypass grafting surgery. Nuclear scans are very sensitive in picking up disease early, way before the changes are obvious on a conventional imaging. Like for example, neurodegenerative changes like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. PET scans are also useful in infection imaging, especially when the infection focus is not obvious on conventional imaging. How should I prepare for a PET CT scan? You will be asked to come fasting for four to six hours prior to the study. You are allowed to drink plain water freely during this period. What will happen once you reach the department? The nursing staff will check your vitals and your blood sugar to make sure that everything is in order. If your blood sugar is in the acceptable range, they will proceed to insert an IV line. Once the IV access is secured, the technologist proceeds to inject the radio pharmaceutical through the IV line. These radio tracers are very small in quantity and painless. After injection of the radio tracer, you need to give 45 to 60 minutes to allow for radioactive uptake in the disease sites. During this time, you will be asked to drink oral contrast which will help in distending the gastrointestinal tract. Once the uptake period is over, you are taken to the PET scan room and made to lie down in the PET scan gantry. The whole body imaging will take 20 to 30 minutes. During this time, you may be injected with additional radiographic contrast media to perform a diagnostic CT scan. Is there a chance of adverse drug reaction or allergy during a PET scan? The answer is no. The actual amount of radio tracer used is one millionth 
of a grain of sugar. At such low doses, the chances of adverse reactions, interaction with other drugs and allergies is negligible. What about the radiation safety aspect? The radiant tracers used in PET CT scans have very short half-lives which is usually in the range of 1 to 2 hours maximum. The radioactivity decays off from the body over a period of 6 to 8 hours. Oral hydration is recommended to allow for excretion of the radioactivity through the urinary route. In cases of females who are lactating, we recommend withholding breastfeeding for a period of 8 hours after the study. You are asked to keep a distance of 1 to 2 meters from others for 8 hours after the study. All non-emergency surgeries are deferred by one day. What are the advantages of a nuclear PET scan? It is a modality that detects diseases in the earliest phase, right at the cellular level, even before the structural changes are obvious on other modalities like a CT or an MRI. The amount of radioactivity used is very less and hence these procedures can be safely performed in patients with renal or hepatic insufficiency. Lastly, the radiation exposure from a single PET CT study is very well within the acceptable limits and there is no harm from radiation point of view. What are the disadvantages of nuclear scans? Cost and availability are limiting factors. These scans are expensive. There are hardly any nuclear medicine setups in the rural parts of the country. Radioisotopes are short-lived and hence cannot be transported over long distances limiting its availability. Well, that's it from me today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to EduSearch for more such videos. Do click the bell icon to receive instant notification every time a new video is uploaded. I thank you for your kind attention. I wish you a happy and healthy year.